Scott Cunningham said, no matter what you believe about magic, it is. It simply is. And I say the same thing about um, psychics and um, seers. No matter what you believe, it simply exists. It happens. People have the gift. Now clearly from this letter, this person has the ability, has a clear talent to um, foresee someone's difficulties. What I find unethical about it is she didn't give alternatives. And see, in my belief system, I believe there are infinite possibilities. I really shouldn't even use the word believe because that denotes the possibility of doubt. I have no doubt that there are infinite possibilities, infinite consequences for every circumstance, situation, or choice. Look, seriously, Jane John Doe is being ripped off. This is my belief. Not because Clearly, this is a, a typical con, but because this person wrote this letter to me, basically giving me permission to take a look, and what I saw has nothing to do with any kind of curse in this, in this time. In our next segment of Finding the Truth, I'm going to take these cards that Jane John Doe talks about here, and we're going to discuss the actual meanings of those cards and how they would affect one another in a, in a layout. This has been another edition of Finding the Truth. And I'm Reverend Sonny D. Always seeking the truth.